the world, y'all. It's the brother, the dark side Afrocentrist, checking back in on this lovely Sunday, man. Good weather, good sunshine, depending on your location. And my location is all gravy, you understand me? But basically, man, let me jump right into it. You know, today this video is going to be about a real revolutionary, a real stand-up black man. I know he's kind of on the leftist side, so he might not em embrace the term patriarchy. And, but guess what, man? Actions speak louder than words. This is a stand-up guy for show who fought for our people, who put their work in. He's a changed man, so I'm not going to go into um, the details, just going to the specific details of his, um, of his situation that led to his incarceration. But what I will say is, man, this Black Panther brother, BLA brother, BLA, original BLA comrade, true elder, Baba Jaleel Muta King, man, is home. Jaleel Muta King is coming home. He's not home yet, but he will be released. And hopefully um, they won't try to, you know, kill him, you know, on his last days in their, in their hell hole. Hopefully, you know, he's a Muslim brother, so inshallah. He'll be protected. Um, may his God Allah, you know, you know, grant him peace and serenity, so he can make it home to his his children, and to his woman, and to all his comrades and friends. You know, you know, real new African freedom fighter man, who who laid it down, man, put it down. He was a Black Panther. He was a new African citizen, BLA man, all that. He was truly committed to the cause and to the struggle. Now, y'all know me. I'm more so on the right side of the spectrum when it comes to African liberation. But I can't. But guess what, man? Right side, left side of it, it's all African liberation. So I got much respect. This is this is one of my. This is the man who is my inspiration, a true example, a shining example of of militant, of warrior, black manhood and masculinity. And uh, and I might I'm gonna go more in depth on, on 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 a separate video, but this is why I see on Twitter, man, it's been going on for a minute. A lot of a lot of you brothers who uh, are FBA uh, and sisters, if some sisters happen to, across this video, a lot of you brothers or sisters who are FBA, ADOS. I mean, like I said, I got love for y'all. No hate, you know. I appreciate the work y'all putting in. For reparations and for uh, black empowerment, but hey, man, y'all can't be dissing in Cobra. I don't agree with in Cobra dissing y'all, but y'all can't be in dissing in Cobra and and uh, PGRNA, man, cause cause this these cause we come from this cough, bro. It was brothers like these who created, brothers like these who put in Cobra. And uh, the preceding PGRNA and the New African People's Organization, who put those formation and manifest, bro. And these were straight from the grassroots, man. They was at war with this with this wicked ass government, and they were putting in work, man. They weren't marching, you know. You know, this is YouTube, so I gotta be careful what I say, and I don't want nobody to think that I'm I'm encouraging people to kill police officers. I'm totally far from that. But anybody who knows how it was in New York with the police during the 70s and all the bodies they was catching on black people, man, you know, you know, all the bodies they were catching on on African people for no fucking reason. COINTEL, Pro FBI was just out here just laying our people down, you know, out here just, you know, treating our people like we weren't shit. You know what I'm saying? And just doing our people dirty. So, this brother right here, he took a stand. In 1971, he took a stand, felt what he felt was best to address that bullshit. You know, whether you agree with how he went about it or not, man. But this brother stood strong on his 10. He changed his life. He never betrayed the cause. He just adapted and evolved into fighting the cause a better way as opposed to doing the way he did it not saying the way he did it was wrong but 
in the end of the day, when you go to war with the state and you ain't got the resources, you're going to lose. So you got to, you know, move, move, move wiser and, and, and move more clever. But this was a true blood. This is a true brother, man, a true black man. You know, I know Baba Odinga came home about two years ago. Sekou Odinga, another BLA comrade. I know Delbert Africa came out, and unfortunately, he passed five months after he came out last year. You know, these brothers, man, they put it down, man. You know, long live the new African revolution, man. No, long live the, the, the new African the new African freedom fighters, bro. You know, straight up. You know, this this is real. You know, uh, <laughs> like I say, man, welcome home, Baba Jalil Munta King, a.k.a. Mr. Anthony Bottom. You know, real black men who took a stand, who got tired of dealing with the bullshit, who wasn't doing no marching, who wasn't doing no protesting. No disrespect to those who do, who did that, who do that. But hey, man, sometimes shit, you gotta put it on the line. And black men, when we when I be talking about this black patriarchy, and when I be talking about black male rulership, how far are we willing to go for it? I ain't talking about crashing out doing no dumb shit, but how far are we willing to go for it? How far? And I and I asked that to myself. I don't just ask that to y'all. I ask that to myself. Like, and, and this is not to com- no not committing crimes, not breaking any laws, but just you know, you know, how serious are we about this? Are we willing to meet up and create foundations and organizations and safe spaces and meeting space so we can brainstorm? Are we willing to put our money together so we can buy facilities and take back our community? You did what I'm saying. Are you willing to strategize? Come on, man. This is real. Man, long live the new African independence movement. Long live the provisional government of the Republic of New Africa. Long live the Black Panther Party. Long live the Black Liberation Army. Long live, you know, anybody really out here, you know, fighting for their African liberation. You know, but we taking it, what, what I'm pushing with this right wing new Africanism, we pushing African domination, African conquest, African patriarchy. That's what we own. But man, welcome home, Baba. We with you. I'm with you. The dark side Afro centuries. Man. But I hope he's safe in there. I hope they don't try to fuck with him or sabotage him. I hope he be received well by his friends and family and they can put him up in a nice place and he can live out his last days getting the love that was denied to him and again because this is this is a real black masculinity. This is who I follow. I don't I don't look to, to, to the gangsters and the and the big time dope dealers and the black mafia wannabe motherfuckers. I don't look up to them as real black as 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 who I should to subscribe to be as a, a black man this is who these are who I look up to this is my elder you know this is my you know this is my brother this is my big brother you know true political prisoner true true freedom fighter this is a, he is a man's man this is who black men and don't get me wrong, black masculinity is diverse. And I don't mean with that homosexual feminist shit that they trying to push. I'm talking about as far as being stand-up black men. Hell, you know, um, I can't think of the brother name now, but the, the black business man from uh, Maryland, I think. Reginald, Reginald something. He's a, a, a fine specimen of black masculinity. Johnny Cochran was a fine black specimen a ma- black masculinity. You did what I'm saying? Um, Judge Joe Brown, who's still with us, he's a fine specimen of black masculinity. A lot of brothers who are elders and even ancestors now. But this brother, as far as being a militant and taking it to the system, 
hey man, it's no one better, man. All these criminals and gang bangers who sold all this dope and, and killed so many of our brothers and, 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 and sisters and just turned our communities into wastelands. I can't I can't under that. But I can under this all day though. With that being said, man, welcome welcome back home, Baba. You know, appreciate your service for the cause. And wish you, you know, a long life. Hope you live to be 171. Free the land. Black power.